Next guest has done the math and he fears that the Federal Housing Authority, the government's mortgage insurance agency, is on the hook for so many bad loans and might be next in line for a federal bailout. Andrew Kaplan is a professor at economics at New York University and co-director of its Center for Experimental Social Science. And Professor, uh, great to have you with us. And I know you've done this report that was uh, featured uh, in several newspapers about this. And I just want to explain it to our viewers first. I mean, the FHA uh, insures mortgages basically that are quite risky, right, that other private insurers won't take Correct. on. So given that, wouldn't you expect that there would be a degree of risk in their portfolio? Oh, there certainly is a degree of risk, uh, but every risk needs to be counted. I mean, there's something called an actuarial review, and that is the statement that FHA makes every year mm -hmm. by congressional mandate to explain how much risk it is taking. And you're saying they're, they've understated it? They've, Massively understated it. Okay, describe massively for us. What are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about mismeasurement of quite basic, uh, of a quite basic type. The the model that they've developed uh, of losses is misspecified in many ways, and it uh, it overcounts what. Success. It's not real success. Okay. So let me. Uh, that's a very, rather intricate feature I could explain to you. Right. And I want to boil it down. Yeah. We, we, we could probably talk hours yeah, yeah. about this. But basically, you're talking about streamlined refinancings. Yes. They basically terminate a loan. Yes. Uh, they, or at least they call it a termination yes. when somebody refinances. Yes. And they bring on this new refinance yes. loan that essentially carries less risk, right? But you're saying that that's just kind of covering up the problem. Well, what's going on is you should not count the refinanced mortgage as a successful termination that takes risk off FHA's books. In the model, they've counted that as a success. It's as if you had left FHA and there was no longer any risk left, left on FHA's books. And you that's, say, in fact... Uh, that's oh, absolutely untrue. And what does the FHA say to your findings, then? Um, they seem defensive. They, I think what they should have done is to say, well, that's true. We made some misclassifications. We've mismeasured loan-to-value ratios. More people are underwater than we understood. We will correct our errors and get back to you with the truth about what's going on in our books. But this understatement you're saying is the difference between a survival for this agency or a federal bailout. So tell us what's the tipping point here uh, well, and how much are we talking about? Uh, we, we don't know. Uh, we weren't able to work that out. The, the FHA has most of the numbers and unfortunately sets up something of a catch-22 when it says in order to criticize us you need to come up with all the numbers about everything that could possibly be our risk and you say well please could I have the numbers and they'll say no and they won't provide the numbers yeah, so, for you. so you can't possibly do it's their job to do an actuarial review we found their actual aerial review to be systematically in error this isn't the first year every year in the recent past the review has begun by stating how it underestimated last year's losses for five or six different reasons. We're just helping them to understand the five or six different reasons they'll be stating next year right. as to why they underestimated the losses. The likelihood of a bailout? Very high. Okay. That's a What's private very opinion. very high? What, 90 percent? Uh, a private opinion. This is not in the paper. My right. private opinion is 99.9 percent. 99.9 percent? Yes. Seriously? Yes. And what does that mean for the housing market? Uh, it depends on how long they keep going. Um, the, uh, what they've done is double down, double down, and double down again. They'd like to double down again. Uh, I think at some point that game will end. Uh, and what we'll have to do, there'll be a day of reckoning, and we'll have to sort out the mess rather than add to it. Okay, Andrew, some scary stuff there on the housing front, but we appreciate you telling us about it. Andrew Kaplan, professor of economics at New York University.